Packers. Hello everyone, and welcome to NFLHouse.com's player interview. My name is Eric Galco, owner and director of scouting for the site. I'm joined today by Jahi Ward Daniels, cornerback prospect from Georgia Tech. Jahi, how are you today? I'm going good, man. Okay, well, Jahi, how did new head coach Paul Johnson from uh, Navy captivate the team into buying into his winning philosophy in year one of his coaching job? Uh, I mean, Coach Johnson, you know, one, he's a great guy. Uh, and uh, at first, you know, we didn't know what to think of him, really. And uh, he came in and, and really set the tone for us, you know, let us know that you know, there was going to be a lot of changes and, you know, that he was really going to be determined at turning our program into uh, a winning, uh, you know, take nothing less than the best type team. And, uh, you know, we uh, earned his, or we gained his, uh, his trust, he gained our trust, and, uh, we just stopped believing in each other and believing in his system, and it just turned out great for us. Okay, now this season, you were the only senior defensive back starting, and while you're on pace to duplicate your previous year's two seasons' great numbers, a hamstring injury forced you out of the last six games. Now, while you're on the field, I don't know if you know, your team was 6-1, and one, and with you off in the last six games of regular season, uh, they were 3-3. Three and three. What was going through your mind uh, when you had that injury for your team? Especially with such a talented team in your senior year. Oh man, I was I was very disappointed. Um, you know, it hurt. You know, to have to sit on the sideline and you know watch the team go to battle. Um, same guys that you had you know sweated with and bled with for the last you know uh, three years previous, and uh, to watch them have to have them go into battle without you was just I mean it hurts. Um, but at the same time, uh, I was able to gain some type of uh, mental toughness about that uh, because uh, it took a lot for me to, you know, make sure I stayed focused, you know, on the positive. Because uh, I had to be, you know, positive for my teammates and be able to coach up the younger DBs who were having to go in for me and uh, just making sure I stay up and root them on to uh, help them do the best they can. Uh, it wasn't easy, but, you know, uh, having to be there for your team, you know, that, that means a lot. So, you know, I was in. I wasn't afraid to step up to that challenge, so um, everything happens for a reason, uh, and uh, you know I'm still doing okay. So uh, you know it's just been a blessing, you know, just to uh, get through this and still be a you know a prospect uh, and uh, able to accomplish the things that uh, I'm accomplishing right now. Okay, now just after the season, you said uh, you attended the East West Shrine game. Uh, East West Shrine game. Uh, I decided that uh, I was not going to play in that game. Yeah. Um, I wanted to make sure that my hamstring was as uh, strong as possible. Um, so I went ahead and uh, took myself out of that game. Mm -hmm. um, that was a personal decision, uh, just based on how uh, training was going and the time frame, uh, especially with the combine coming up. Uh, uh, so I didn't uh, actually play in the game. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and as we just, just briefed on, we just wrapped up the NFL Combine, which you just attended. Let's talk about that for a little while. How do you feel you tested and worked out? You know, I, I felt good. Um, you, know, you know, having to train for the Combine, you know, you got to do this, a lot of physical parts to it, but it's also a lot of mental part, preparation. Um, you know, uh, most of what the Combine is, is just a mental test of, you know, how well you handle pressure, uh, you know, how well do you handle being under, you know, a spotlight. And uh, that's kind of how the NFL is on a, on a regular basis. Um, you know, all the interviews I felt comfortable in. Uh, and then physically on the field, you know, I, I didn't have any, any problems there. Uh, I chose not to do the 40. I'm um, going to do that at my pro day. But I did do the uh, position drills and all the workouts. And, uh, you know, I felt good. Uh, you know, uh, I, I mean, I was ready for uh, wherever they had to go out there. So um, I'm pleased with my performance. Um, I think I could have maybe did my vertical jump a little bit better. Uh, but I had a good bench press, and overall, you know, I feel good about it. Okay, and I think you touched on the interviews before. It's probably the most important part of the combine. How do you feel you did interviewing with certain teams? And do you know if any teams took a special liking to you? Um, you know, uh, I feel I did good with the interviews. Um, you know, different teams interview in different ways. Um, some teams like to see, you know, kind of your knowledge of the game. Some teams kind of get more personal questions to kind of get to know what kind of person are you, what kind of character do you have. Um, and some teams just have, you know, a, a mixture. Um, you know, and, and it's all, you know, 
it's all subjective to you know what they want and what they're looking for uh, in a player. But um, uh, I felt comfortable. Um, you know, I was you know ready for any type of questions, whether it be uh, questions about you know what kind of defense do I run, or you know personal questions of you know uh, what kind of player am I, you know uh, strengths and weaknesses. Those are the type of questions you get. And I was ready for that. Um, I had a really good interview with uh, the Minnesota Vikings and uh, felt really good about that. Um, it seemed like we had a pretty good vibe. Also, the St. Louis Rams, the same way. Uh, so those are two uh, teams in particular that you know I felt really good about. Um, but you know I felt comfortable talking to everybody. Okay, now there are great aspects to your game, of course, highlighted by your by your great build for your position as well as your you know fluid hips and instinctiveness from the balls in the air. What do you feel is your best attribute? that could put you on an NFL roster in an NFL, in an NFL rotation the quickest? Um, you know, like you said, I do have a good size for a corner, uh, especially with the receivers in the NFL now who are uh, all you know, over six foot and you know, running fast. So uh, having some size really does help. Um, one of the biggest things, you know, I'd say just uh, the way I, I'm, I'm as physical as I am, that helps out a lot. Uh, I'm not afraid to tackle. You know, some corners you get, they just want to cover, or some corners can just tackle and can't do both. I feel I'm pretty versatile at covering guys, but also coming up and helping on run support when I need to. Um, you know, it, it can be seen in, in film, you know, um, if you watch me play, you pretty much know, you know, I'm, I'm a very aggressive tackler. Uh, I like to come up and uh, get the big hit. Um, you know, I don't miss too many of those, so uh, that's one key element of my game that I feel, you know, will help me and uh, a lot of teams like. That's definitely a key part of your game. I know you had uh, three and a half tackles for a loss this past season, and watching on film, you definitely had some some big, impactful hits. Um, but also, you know, as you have great strengths, what do you feel are some of the weaknesses of your game, and how do you plan on improving them before the draft happens? Uh, one thing, you know, uh, people say I have a good hand, you know, I don't have as many interceptions, uh, but I have a lot of pass breakups. Um, you know, finishing on the ball, uh, that comes to doing just uh, a lot of DB drills, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of catching drills, um, you know, just being in position, doing a little some one-on-one, uh, you know, that'll help out a lot. You know, uh, coming off of an injury, you know, just making sure my speed is where it needs to be. Um, you know, I'm getting training right now getting faster every day, so, um, you know, just keep on running, keep on, you know, training, form running, uh, getting stronger in my lower body, make sure I'm explosive, uh, that'll help me out a lot, uh, yeah. Okay, and just tying everything together, be a salesman for me, and sell me, you know, me being a potential NFL suitor, that you should be, you know, my top cornerback pick come late April. <laughs> All right, um. But if you pick me, you know, I'm going to be a positive influence uh, on the field and in the locker room for the team, first of all. Um, I'm a guy of high character. Uh, I will be a positive influence, you know, also to the community, uh, being in your, in your, uh, in your city. Um, now, on the field, uh, you know, I'm versatile. I can cover, play man-to-man. At the same time, you know, I'm good with my eyes, so zone. Uh, I'm very strong in. Uh, we played a lot of zone this year at Georgia Tech, and I'm ready for that. Um, I'm physical. Like I love to tackle. Uh, I'm not afraid to come and make a hit. Uh, if you need a uh, cover two corner, I can do that all day. Um, you know, you're not going to see another corner as physical as I am, especially with my size. Uh, I have six foot, you know, 197 pounds, so uh, I'm gonna be a challenge for any wide receiver. And if I was you, you know, I would want a corner like that on my team. Uh, definitely going to help you out uh, this season. Okay, great. Uh, hey, Johnny, thanks for very much for joining me today. Best of luck in the whole NFL draft process, and I hope you talk about you on Sundays next season in the future. Oh, definitely. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Well, that was Jahi Ward Daniels, quarterback prospect from Georgia Tech. Thank you very much for joining me today on NFLHouse.com's player interviews. Feel free to contact me at Eric, E-R-I-C-G, at NFLHouse.com. Thanks again.